All right, so the Avengers is... Okay, um... This is not how you dress for one of the most anticipated movies of the year. Uh, I want to look nicer. All right, all right, we're getting there. That's a little better. But, um, I want to look like Barney from Lie About Your Mother. Yeah, yeah, the NPH. Yeah, I want to look like NPH. Is that okay? All right. That's awesome. That's, that's great. That, it's, uh... Uh, I, I can't do the the button thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna be like a hipster Barney, and uh, that's okay. I don't need a tie. That's fine. That's just fine. That's just that's just fine. <sighs> kind of kind of having the need for glasses either. My blazer doesn't even my the holes in my blazer are stitched together. <sighs> okay. The Avengers. Now, as you all know, The Avengers is one of the most highly anticipated films of the year, and a huge buildup from all the origin uh, Mar uh, Avenger stories from Marvel, like Iron Man 1 and 2, The Incredible Hulk. Not Hulk. Not Ang Lee's Hulk. Don't do that. That's a father-son story. Thor and Captain America. So basically what's happened is that there's this Loki has come to Earth, he's ready to reign, he's ready to take over everything in its path, He's ready to destroy everything, man. And so there's, there's this huge cube of energy that I guess really supplies the whole world, in fact. Loki wants to get that ball, a cube of energy and take over the world with his huge powers. First of all, why would he want to do that? He's already got it. But anyway, besides the fact. So Nick Fury came and he called all the Avengers to come together and take care of Loki. Now, as we all know, the whole Avenger superheroes has to do with Iron Man, Hulk, Thor and Captain America. What's really cool is that it doesn't just focus on Iron Man or it doesn't just focus on Captain America. Every single Avenger gets their own special screen time that has allowed to, you know, do whatever they need to do to get the job done on screen. And before we go any further, let's talk about what worked. The direction. Now Joss Whedon is a huge, huge fanboy to the Avengers and I thought it was a perfect perfect example on how to make a great action film without all that cheesy humor. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Bay. And so the humor worked. He also wrote the script, and the script writing was genius. It was magnificent. He did the same screenwriting for Cabin in the Woods, and he did a beautiful job with that screenplay as well. And all the comedy in this movie is spot on perfect. I never expected it to be this funny. I never expected it to be this funny. Wait, what am I doing with my glasses on? Hey, 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 you, yeah. Did you edit my glasses back? I can go on and on and talk about the humor in this film. What also worked? The acting. Now, I know this is an action film, so you're not going to get the best uh, acting, but this movie was an exception. The acting was amazing in this film. I really love the acting. Robert Downey Jr., he nails it in any one of his films. I'm starting to be a huge fan of Chris, Ev uh, Chris Hemsworth and Chris Evans. They're both really good at what they do. Captain America, who, plays Chris, who Chris Evans plays, he is very funny in this film. He's very kind of, I don't know, he's an outcast because he was frozen in the middle of nowhere for 40, since the 1940s, and he came back and he doesn't get anything anyone's saying. It's kind of funny how he adapts to all the trend changes that are going on. And Thor is such a likable character. He's very funny. He, you feel like if you were near him, he would have been a cool guy to hang out with. I mean, he's a, he's a god. But he'd be really cool to hang out with. And of course, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. That role was written for him. He was hilarious. He was very, he was very well likable. He was very sarcastic in everything he does. His one-liners were excellent in this film. And also, let me tell you about something a newcomer that has come to this. First, it was Eric Bana, who honestly, I did not have a trouble with. I thought Eric Bana was really good in Ang Lee's Hulk, but I still think that that script didn't really have to do anything with much of the Hulk. It was kind of like a build-up to a father-son story, which I didn't really, I don't know, get at all. Then Edward Norton's Hulk was really well done. I really liked it. I liked it a lot more than Ang Lee's Hulk, but still, you really didn't have a believable feeling on there was a Hulk trapped inside uh, Edward Norton's body, or Bruce Bruce Banner, but Mark Ruffalo. Oh my god, guys! Mark Ruffalo was great as the Hulk. He was funny, he was likable, he was very, 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 very calm about a lot of things, 
and he says one line in this film that I take everything from granted, and now I'm so proud this is the new Hulk. Mark Ruffalo should have played it from the very beginning. He was absolutely fantastic. Everything will just look beautiful in this film. All the action scenes were well put. Joss Whedon, props to you. And acting, props to you. CGI, props to you. Screenwriting, props to you, man. Now what didn't work? <laughs> Nothing. Everything was perfect in this film. I could not name one single flaw. I loved this film. Very well done. It looked beautiful on the screen. Now I did see this at the IMAX Midnight Screening, and every time the Hulk showed up on screen, Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, they were roaring as an applause. Now there's this one joke that Captain America says that I'm. It's kind of in the uh, kind of a spoiler, but then again, it isn't. Thor has Thor has smashed onto the plane, but did not break it. He smashed onto the plane and grabbed Loki, grabbed him out to fight him, and then Captain America decides I'm going to put on a parachute and break those two up. Then Black, Black Widow comes up from the very end. By the way, this is Scarlett Johansson. Oh, ah, I feel complete. And what she says is. I wouldn't mess with those guys, they're practically gods. And to which Captain America replies, Ma'am, there's only one god and I'm pretty sure he doesn't dress like that. And our whole theater was applauding. One of the best lines in the whole movie, it was unbelievably funny. Joss Whedon, once again, you get more than one prop here. So guys, like I said, great acting, great screenplay. Great, great directing, best CGI, best cinematography. Honestly, guys, I'm going to give this an A+. Uh, highest grade I've given it this year. You know, A+, 5 out of 5 stars, 5 out of 5 schmoes. Awesome-tacular and right the hell on. Comment below if you got every one of those references. So, guys, hope you enjoyed The Avengers. If you haven't, definitely go see the film. I'm Jacob from The Eternal Closet. Click that notation right there to go see Cabin in the Woods review. And click down here to subscribe. So guys, I'm Jacob Matthews from the Eternal Closet. I'll see you later. This is kind of, the suit's getting hot. I gotta take this suit off. How does Bruce Banner do this? I meant like, how does he get in this suit just to rip it up? It's a very nice suit. Why would he do that? I don't know. I, don't, I can't see. I have to go yell at some people because they for digitally put my glasses back in. Guys, really? Can I, can you not do that once again? Really? You know what, I'm glad you liked the Avengers too. I'm really glad. I loved it. As you can see, I just did a review. Alright, yeah, let's go get some coffee.